And so um, amongst the first actions uh, I intend to uh, undertake when the legislature resumes in November is to introduce uh, a new Accountability Act to restore accountability, uh, discipline and integrity uh, to government. And anyone who wishes to be part of, uh, of this government going forward uh, and anyone who wishes to be part of, uh, of my team will be held to the highest possible standards of public service. When this legislation has been enacted, uh, all elected officials, um, all political staff, and all senior civil servants will be bound by clear conflict of interest guidelines. Um, I begin by saying every person who is employed in my office or in the offices of uh, any of my ministers uh, will be required to uh, make voluntary disclosure to the Ethics Commissioner of their financial status and their holdings, their employment history, uh, and any uh, possible potential conflict. And that work is ongoing at this point. Um, we intend to strengthen the cooling off period uh, to one year for political staff, and it will be harmonized with uh, elected officials and senior civil servants as a one year cooling off period. As I promised over the summer, uh, we will eliminate um, what I have referred to as sweetheart severance packages for political staff uh, that have in the past been, t been paid uh, no matter how their employment was terminated. Uh, in the future, severance packages for political staff will only be paid when an employee is terminated without cause and will be uh, fully consistent with public sector standards that apply to uh, people in the public service uh, in Alberta. No one will profit by leaving a job that they have held uh, for just a short period of time. In addition, uh, we will introduce measures so that uh, registered lobbyists will be prohibited from taking on uh, government contracts. Uh, people will need to make a choice between working on behalf of others to influence government on the one hand or on the other hand uh, working directly for uh, the citizens of Alberta. The spending of public funds uh, to hire contractors uh, must also be done with respect for the interests of taxpayers. And so uh, going forward, government contracts uh, will be awarded on a competitive basis to ensure that the maximum return on, on public dollars. Um, there will always be circumstances from time to time due to tight t deadlines, highly specialized services, states of emergency, and so on. Uh, and in such exceptional cir circumstances, um, contracts may only be awarded to pre-qualified vendors who have submitted to a competitive process, been selected, uh, and are on a list uh, available for selection. And uh, so as I promised this summer, the government will uh, effective immediately return to consolidated financial reporting um, in a manner that the Auditor General of Alberta accepts and agrees with.